was a dry run? As I was saying, she was like, hey. Okay. So, oh, we're on the air. Oh, never mind about that. Uh, hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Special Moments with Stevie D. It's great to be here. Uh, you know, we've had some technical difficulties uh, today, and I didn't think we were going to get on the air because of the water worker strike here in Pacifica. And we're shooting, by the way, at the lovely PCTV studios. But half of our staff had to go to the picket lines. So we've got some technical difficulties. If you hear people screaming and yelling, or me screaming and yelling, you'll know why. Just kind of bear with us. Uh, the producers of this show, they're not really that great. I don't know who they are. I just kind of found them in an alley somewhere, and they had money. Believe it or not, you know, bums have money. But anyway, this is our fifth show today. It's a really great show. We're excited to be here. You know, we're at about 72 million, what did you say, 73? No, 70. 72 million viewers worldwide hey, are watching this show. Garbage. Introduce your guest. What? Get on it, man. Oh, man. I don't know who these people are. But listen, 72 million people worldwide are watching this show right now. We're in 72 million homes right now. I, I was uh, just talking to my cousin in northern Afghanistan. Not that I'm Afghanistani or anything. But anyway, and he was saying in his village there, they're dying for this show. They're killing people just to get a TV to watch this show. That's how popular we are. In fact, what? We just picked up 16 more viewers. Where's that? In the Shetland Islands of Scotland. Wow. Very popular. Unbelievable. But we got a great show for you. You know, I wrote some notes down, or the producers gave me some stuff. I was supposed... What? Who is this guy here? Uh, this is my show. Uh, all right. So the producers are telling me to get to the guest. I wrote some idiotic stuff down, but... Anyway, let's talk, let's meet our guest because that's really the exciting part of the show. I'm just a stupid idiot. <laughs> anyway, but I'd like to introduce my first guest tonight. You're going to really love my guests. I love my guests. I don't even know them and I love them already. Um, let's introduce my first guest. Uh, what's your name? You remember my name. I, I uh, introduced myself to you uh, in my notes three or four here. times ago. Uh, you are... Mike Renfro. Mike Renfro. Mike Oh. Formerly of the uh, Elizabeth Warren here, campaign. Hold on this. Hold on this. It says here, Chad. Are you Chad? Uh, no, that's me there. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Renfro. Yeah, yeah. Renfro. yeah. You, you remember me? Welcome uh, to the show. Yeah. Good, nice uh, to see you. Here. You remember who I am now, right? Uh, no, but that's okay. Yeah, I guess you want that back. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Oops, sorry. So, um, what's your name again? Michael Renfro. You know, uh, people hey. say I think I have Alzheimer's. Figure it out. Talk. Who's yeah. Guy you got? Huh? Who's your other guy? What other guy? That guy. Yeah. Is this guy on the show? Yeah. Uh, yeah. You hired Hang on him. One second. Michael Renfro. So yeah. what do you do again? I was the former uh, campaign, uh, well, I wouldn't call it coordinator. It was more like the assistant to the assistant of the guy that uh, hired the temps to hire the assistants to work for the Elizabeth Warren campaign. And uh, I was wrong. I was there for two days, but they thought I was too brilliant and I scared them and they let me go. And so uh, I uh, am uh, letting the world know that uh, whatever they said about me, not true. I'm here to uh, defend myself. About what? Uh, just the rumors are going around about my stealing office supplies. Yeah, and we'll get to it later, babe. It's all right. So anyway, um, I'd like not to introduce true. my next guest who is really a fantastic loser. That's what he's known for. And we're, you're going to love him. So uh, please, I'd like to introduce Mr. Danny Esperanza, right? Yeah, that's Esperanza. Esperanza. Sure Esperanza. Danny with a D. Danny with a D. Danny with a D. Now, Danny, we, I had you on the show before, right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Did you beat up anybody? Nah, nah. You did? Nah, 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 nah. Oh, nah, nah, you nah. beat up one of the staff after the show. Nah, I left. Nah, you know, I, I, you know, we talked about this before, Mr. T, that uh, I, I used to be a very, very violent man. Yeah. A violent man. Yeah. You know? I could be making $23 an hour as a plumber. Oh. But that's not what I do. <laughs> that's not what I do, Mr. D. What do you do? I teach men how not to be violent, violent, violent. What's wrong with violence? Sometimes you need violence in life, right? No, 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 no. no. I, the other day, I to the supermarket, and I just wanted to just clock this guy. He deserved it. Wouldn't I be justified? Somebody just... No, no, no. Why not? Look, Mr. D, you know, I like to practice uh, something I like to call non-violence. Uh, you know, non I, was, I, was, I was a very violent man for a very long time, Mr. D. Let me tell you, I used to be a pimp. Oh. I used to be a pimp. I used oh. to pimp out. This is getting interesting now. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Real interesting. Real interesting. Oh. Now, remember, this is a family show, so be oh, careful oh. here. Hi, hi. Hi, kids. Yeah. So, we're going to get back to you in a second. Oh, yeah, yeah. You do Am that. I on you target? Yeah. What? No, you're way behind. I'm way behind. Get on, man. Oh, God. This staff nowadays, man, where do they find them? So, anyway, I'd like to come back here, but just to let everybody know, um, oh, we just picked up 24 more viewers in the Soviet Republic of, or they're not even the Soviet Union anymore. How could they be the Soviet Republic of Kazakhstan? Oh, that's cool, man. So, it's by a lake. This is what they're telling me. And we just got 24 more viewers. A lake in Kazakhstan. Thank you. We love you. Uh, Mr. Uh, what's your name? Again? Renfro, Renfro. Renfro. I told you. Th I got to start taking times. Ginkgo Biloba. I can't remember any of this. Uh, so uh, you're telling me about the. the uh, you have any idea what I'm doing here? No, not really. Okay. I don't so, even know you. I worked for the Elizabeth Warren campaign for two days. I had radical ideas. She had a, a wealth tax. I say millionaires should be cleaning your bathrooms, okay? Nobody, no other candidate's talking about that. When I proposed that idea, after they uh, pepper sprayed me and dragged me out, they said, uh, it's not gonna work. Uh, try some other campaign. So uh, I, Why did they pepper spray you? Uh, I was too radical and I was uh, stealing off supplies. But the point is that if she's gonna win, she needs radical ideas. I've got the win ideas. What? To win what? Win what? The, who? She's run, Elizabeth Warren, she's running for president where of the she, United States. Where does she work? She's a senator from Massachusetts. Oh, you, never heard of her. Uh, you I never thought, heard of her. Uh, I thought it was Ted Kennedy was the senator Ted from Kennedy. Massachusetts. Ted yeah. Kennedy, uh, 10 years ago maybe, but uh, yeah, I thought you said you had a uh, political science degree and that uh, you were well versed in the uh, politics of uh, the United States. I uh, don't know what you're talking about. Uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, just to let you know, I want to remind everybody this is a family show. Uh, so please, no profanity, um, no sex, no drugs, no inappropriate behavior. Violence, on the other hand, sometimes in life you need to be violent. And I can attest to that for sure. So since we're talking about violence, who better to talk to us really about violence than our own House representative, or you're talking about politics now, the violent man himself, the house loser, Mr. Danny Esperanza. Danny, tell us, uh, what's it like to beat somebody's face in? You know, uh, Mr. D, uh, the last time I beat someone's face in was so long ago. Uh, uh, you know, it was just so long ago. Look, I, I, I got to make a confession to you, Mr. D. Uh, I just, I just beat someone up in the parking lot right now. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Uh, you know, uh, let me shake your hand on that one. Uh, Is it somebody I uh, don't? Okay. No, no. no. Uh, Is you somebody know, I don't like? You know, I, I, Did you beat I, him I up feel, for I me? I feel a little uncomfortable with now, Mr. D. I just, I just had to relapse. All right. You know, sometimes I, I just get so angry. Do so they, I, do they tell you to like to breathe heavily? Yes. Like sorry, you. sorry, sorry. You said this was a family show, but you know, I had to get this off my chest. That's yeah, okay, Mr. D. Uh, it's also a therapy show. But you know, this is what I tell. This is what I tell people. Uh, you know, uh, when, when you when you have these violent tendencies and you get angry, and I'm talking about real angry. You know, you you got you got to take these deep, calming breaths, and uh, you know, you should feel better. And I tried that in the parking. Let me tell. I tried that in the parking lot. Did he call you names or something? You know, call me a loser. Oh, well, he you are me a loser. But you are. <clears throat> deep breaths. Deep breaths. Let me tell you, Danny, you were going to become a plumber, right? Was this your life I know. ambition? I could have been $23 an hour being a plumber. It's good money. Instead, I get paid 18 an hour to talk to violent men, and I love it. I absolutely yeah. love it. What but are these violent men? Do they have stories? Oh, they all have stories, Mr. Yeah, T. Yeah, can you tell us about <laughs> one story of a violent man? You know, uh, I'm not supposed to out of client privilege. I, I cannot disclose. Client privilege? Client privilege. Are you an attorney, too? No, no, Mr. D. I, I specialize in violence. Violence. Yeah. violence. That's violence. what I like. That's why I had you back. Because violence is interesting. People like violence. Like I said, you got to carry a big stick. Somebody gets out of line, bow, you let them have it, right? I, you know, like I said, the guy in the parking lot, he just, he, he took it too far. The yeah. Lot, oh, yeah. I can imagine. I mean, he probably deserved it, right? I mean, when you order a pizza with olives on it and not everyone likes olives, you just got, it's just, I'm angry. It makes me angry. I understand. And sometimes I'm angry, very angry. Uh, Mr. Warren, 
Red, Red Pro. Red, oh, who's Mr. Warren? There's no Mr. Warren. I used to work for. Do you have any idea what I'm doing? You had an hour-long conversation with me before I came in here Did about I? what we're going to do. That you're going to give me a platform to air my grievances. Was I wearing gonna, different clothing? No, yeah, you're wearing what you wear. Well, you were wearing a lobster bit, but uh, I didn't right, understand. So that was somebody for. else. <laughs> When I wear different clothing, I'm a different person. Yeah, but you said I you don't remember the conversations because I'm not the same person. So when I was wearing other clothing, I was a different person. I have actually an evil twin brother who thinks he likes to walk around and be me. Sometimes he likes to impersonate himself from that other archaic show, The Lunchtime with Stevie D's Show, which by, by the way is on YouTube. Oh, I'm sorry, I wasn't supposed to say that. Lunchtime with Stevie D on YouTube. Don't say that. On YouTube now. But anyway, uh, my evil twin brother... He talks about that, and, and I really don't like it. But um, right now, I think we're going to go to, are we going to the insert? You got another minute. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Another minute. So I got to talk for another minute before we do the insert? Wait, I thought I was being interviewed here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, no, not anymore. Well, I, <laughs> well ladies and gentlemen, I want to talk to you about something. When we did this show years ago, we had a wonderful man who came on the show and played different characters. He was a wonderful comic actor, great guy, local guy from Pacifica. Do any of you guys remember a guy named Jim Giovanni? The great Jim Giovanni? The great Jim Giovanni, Everybody exactly. Everybody knows all the way out to Massachusetts we know what Jim Giovanni is. Uh, you're from Massachusetts? Boston. Oh, wonderful. Hello. I met some people from Boston once. I think Jim Giovanni went to Boston. But anyway, Jim Giovanni, the poor guy, he passed away three years ago, and we're dedicating this show to him, his Your memory. He was, my time is up? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, we're going to have an insert of some wonderful I stand material he did on my previous the show. ...against the creeping tyranny of subversive revolutionary elements in our society which have conspired to raise taxes in order to further their agenda of sheep cloning and nuclear proliferation. If they are allowed to promote this agenda and challenge the entire fabric of American family values and Monday night football is at risk. We must utilize psychology, technology, and chiropractic criminology to root them out and bring their un-American deeds to light. If I am elected, I will forge a rainbow coalition of kickboxers, lap dancers, and Marine Corps fighter pilots to take back this great country from Stevie D and all those who support him and his agenda. Remember, a vote for doormat his vote for American Family Values and the Witness Protection Program. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was the wonderful Jim Giovanni. May he rest in peace. Uh, great actor. He uh, really helped the show. He did some great characters. That was one of his characters. He was running for vice president in that segment against me. I don't remember who won. doesn't matter. But anyway, thank you, Jim. Memory's eternal. Uh, so, Mr. Warren. Yes? Red Mrs. Pro. Warren. No. no, Mrs. Renfro. Mr. Yeah, you Renfro. have no idea who I. Do you even know who live? Do you even know what country you're living in? Uh, because Albania? there's a little uh, thing called an election going on, Starts and there's uh, 23 candidates uh, running, and uh, you, you, you have no idea what I'm. Wait, wait. In. 23 candidates are running where? For president of the United States. Oh, okay. But let me ask you this: How many illegitimate children do you currently have? What's that got to do with the state of politics in this country? And nine they gave is me the this answers. question. It doesn't the sound answer is nine, but oh. that's not. Look, this country needs new direction, needs new leadership, and uh, um, I've got ideas that are brilliant and radical, and too radical for Elizabeth Warren, who is a senator from Massachusetts, is running for president. You are okay. Do you know what a president is? Um, do you know what no, the no. is? Let me ask you this: Do you take vitamins when you eat Chinese food? Uh, yeah, maybe every other time. But what's that got to do with the state of the economy? I don't know, but I'll be back in a minute. Uh, Mr. Esperanza. Yeah. Um, it's Dan, Danny Esperanza. Danny, Danny, Danny yeah, Esperanza. Yeah, yeah. I like that. And I like the fact that you're violent. Um, I don't. In fact, I wanted to be violent on someone recently, but I didn't. I was good. a good man. I held back. Um, are your parents aware of your criminal behavior? I think you asked me that a little early, Mr. D. They're both oh, dead. Did I? Yes, oh, they're both dead. Okay. I, I'm sorry about I that. Them. The producers told me to ask that question, but I, I can't remember because I have a really bad memory. I think I have Alzheimer's. The doctor said I should take ginkgo biloba. But let me ask you this, Danny. Have you ever been alone in a room with a Scottish goat? 
Uh, I can't say that I have, Mr. D. Would you like to be? Depends how hard the go is. You can choose. I mean, the, the, the goats are different colors in different parts of Scotland. Have you ever been to Scotland and seen a goat there? No, Mr. D. Oh, do you like goats? No, Mr. D. Oh. Okay. I don't understand what this, this line of question is. Uh, Ms. Mr. Renfro has uh, the right idea. Uh, I don't understand. Uh, what idea does he have? Uh, you know, Who's the, Mr. Renfro? Mr. This Renfro. Is Warren. <laughs> this is Warren. Warren, what's your last name? It's Michael Renfro. For the last time, Michael Renfro Warren. You have three. Yeah, names. I don't. I don't. This is uh, all right. Sure. Why not? Okay. So, what did you say about Mr. Warren? No, I just uh, you know it's radical ideas. I think you you I don't understand. I don't understand this 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 line of questioning that you have here for me. Oh, do you have a question for me? No, I have no questions for you, Mr. D. I, oh. I just want to know. Uh, you know, you brought me on the show for me to talk about my violence, and, I, well, and I, I'm, I'm I'm here. I'm trying to talk, but I don't know what you say. I, I I'm trying to get a little. Angry, Mr. Dion. I don't want to know why. You're yeah. getting angry. Well, I'm getting angry. You are. Well, I'm here to talk about some important things, and you don't even know my name, or even know who Elizabeth Warren is. You don't even know the country is called the United States, and you don't know what a president is. I live in the United States. I Thank think. you. I think I do. So we've got that. You can. Okay. So there's uh, one. Danny, <laughs> let me ask you this. This is serious now. Why do you call yourself Fred? My name's not Fred. But my name. You? Is Danny Esperanza? Okay, but why do you call yourself Fred? I d Who wrote this? Hey, you over there. They gave this to me. It tells me to ask him why he calls himself Fred. Does that make sense? Dude, what are you talking about? I don't know. I think I need. I got Alzheimer's. I told you, and I can't hear out of one of my ears. I can't remember which. Uh, we'll come back to you though. Breath. Heavy breathing. Heavy breathing. Mr. Warren, um, have you ever fancied yourself as Ringo Starr? Uh, why, why does he get all the good questions? Oh, sorry. Why do you get all the good I'll questions? I'll ask you too. I'll ask you too. I, I, in a second. Mr. Yeah. Okay. Relax uh, here. Uh, Don't get violent with me. Producers uh, won't like that. It's producers, they run this show. Uh, all right, hang on there. Have you ever fancied yourself as Ringo Starr? Why, Star? yes, Mr. D. Oh, you have? I have thought myself as Ringo Starr since I was a babe. I'll be a, a mere babe. Mr. D. That's something people don't know about me. You see, just because I'm a violent man doesn't mean I, I can't like music. That doesn't mean I don't like the Beatles. Of course. Uh, I'm an avid lover of music. It, 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 you know, it, it's the Dion. Do you listen to the symphony? The symphony? Yeah. It's very soothing. Yeah. It's very soothing. Yeah. You like I that? Do that with, I do that in my, my, my breathing exercises. Breathing exercises. Okay. When I get angry, just, just like I did a second ago. Oh. Look, kids, you, it's okay to be angry. You got to breathe when you have... People like Mr. D in your lives, it's, it's, it's understandable. Everybody loves me. <laughs> I'm so great. <laughs> I love you. Oh, really? Hey, Danny, because of you, we just picked up three more viewers in Nova Scotia. Hi. Or hi. Nova, Nova somewhere. Somewhere in Nova. They got a TV. They're, they're watching us right now. Thank you very much for viewing. I tell you, if this was a telethon, they'd be loving us. We'd be making lots of money for some big charity. Uh, speaking of charity, Mr. Warren... Uh, what is your famous, your your best love charity? What, if if we were making money, what would you give it to? Who would you uh, give it to? First, I'd start with the uh, Boys and Girls Club of uh, Schenectady, New York, uh, because I know a guy who knows a guy that has a kid there, uh, and also uh, I believe that the uh, uh, important thing to remember is that when you when you've got money, you got to give it to people who need it. So, like me, I need it. Oh, because. Like uh, again, my ideas were too radical for the uh, Elizabeth Warren campaign, and as a result, I am now an intern at the uh, Peace and Freedom Party. But the important thing to remember is I'm a moving shaker there, and uh, when the party regulars meet, uh, all six of us, we can fit in the back of a car. That's where we need the money. I like that. Um, let me ask you this. This is a political question, right? Yeah, it's definitely political. Definitely political. Okay. Yeah. okay. Um, would you like to see Arnold Schwarzenegger in a Speedo bikini? Uh, personally, no, but uh, I think uh, if he were governor still, that would be uh, interesting. Why? Yeah. Well, because I don't think the uh, Speedo community's had enough of an advocate in the public arena. And oh, that, uh, well, there we got something probably, very interesting. You know, I mean, I think we've, uh, we've got an issue that's worth promoting to people. Kids today, they don't know what the... Uh, oh, I'd like to smack some of them kids. Speaking about violence... I would like to smack a lot of people around, a lot. 
But we're going to talk about that in a second. Yes, Mr. Warren. You were going to ask me a question. Or Mr. What's your name again? I don't even know anymore. Does it matter? No. Right. Never mind. Um, Michael Renfro. Yeah. Um, Mr. Uh, Esperanza, Mr. Danny Esperanza, yep, that, yep, 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 I'd yep, like yep, to know, yep. and this is what a lot of inquiring minds out here in the, what's that? Two, okay. We got 24 more viewers in Oregon. Wow. Oregon is watching the show. Hey, guys. Where are you? Over here? Hey, go Ducks. We love you. Gotta love those Ducks. Yeah. So, um, for these 24 new viewers in Oregon, Danny, this question is for you. How many Scottish goats have you had sex with in the last six months? It's a trick question. No, it's not a trick. I'm, well, it might be. Who gave this stuff to me? This is ridiculous. I shouldn't be asking this. It's a family show. Come on. What's your name? You don't need to know my name. I don't need to know your name. Danny, we're going to get violent with this guy and the staff. See, unfortunately, we had this big waterwork strike for the local water workers here in Pacifica. All of the staff went over there, so we're very short-staffed here. Yeah, solidarity for the water workers. Thank you. No, they should all be fired. That's what I think. And beaten. No, good, good contracts what they need. Danny, let me, let's talk about this violence that you like to do, and I like to see you do it. I, although I haven't seen him do it. I've never seen him do it. What's it like to beat somebody's face in? How does it feel? Someone who deserves it, by the way. Not just anybody, but somebody who deserves to get their face beaten in. You know, as a man who, who no longer commits violence, like I said to you earlier in the show, <sighs> exhilarating. Really? Exhilarating. Wow. I like the way you said that, too. It was kind of macho. But no, Mr. D, we, we, we must promote non Violent communication in this, in this, in this environment. Mr. Mr. You know, Mr. Winthrow over here likes to talk about the political climate. Let me talk Thank about you. the political climate. Oh, hey, Jesus. you know who I am. How come this guy doesn't know who I am? I like to listen. I well, like see, to talk too much. Learn something this guy. You were interviewing me in the parking lot for an hour. Okay. So, um, this guy's holding three fingers. Is this, what does this mean? It's like, you, Larry, Mo, Curly, Low, You Mo? talk to these guys for three more minutes and then just... Just talk to him for three minutes. That's it? Come on. Okay. All right. Sorry. Yeah, I don't on. know. I have, I have never done this show before. They just grabbed me from the street. Apparently. But actually, this is our fifth show. This is serious. Okay. Three more minutes. Uh, I just got a couple of questions, then we're going to wrap it up here, guys. Um, what do you do when you fart in public and people hear you? I walk around the person behind me, and I say it was them. I like that. I'm going to try that next time. You should. Okay. That's very good. Um, Fair and reasonable question. Yeah, I think so. Uh, Mr. Warren, have you ever had a bad reaction with Viagra? Uh, no, I never really take Viagra. In fact, I had a little problem where I had to have a penis reduction surgery because of my extremely large <laughs> penis. It's, uh, uh, so Vi Viagra is something I, I just never, oh, I never do. Oh, yeah, it's quite common. Quite common. Quite common to have a penis reduction surgery. In uh, Massachusetts? Uh, or? It, uh, it's, a, it's a worldwide phenomenon, really. Um, uh, perhaps you're not familiar with a uh, large penis. I guess uh, you're uh, one of those guys who <laughs> needs Viagra. You're one of those guys. <laughs> yeah. Um, Mr. Esperanza? Yeah, yeah. It means hope. It means hope it means in hope. Spanish. It means hope in Spanish. Yeah, 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 I, yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. speak Spanish. But Neither do I. <laughs> what would you like to bestow on your viewers? We got how many more? Oh, we got two more viewers we just picked up just outside of some place in Moldavia. That's what they're saying. What would you like to bestow on these viewers? Your philosophy, your dogmas, what can you help people with? Well, Mr. D, and thank you for putting me on the show. Before we get out, I just want to tell all the people out there that it's possible to live a non-violent, normal life. You know, like I said, I used to be a pimp. I, used to, I could have been a plumber. I could have been a plumber. Could have been a plumber. I could have been making 23 an hour, but instead I'm sitting here with you telling people not to be violent. And that's just a reward in itself. Granted, it's $18 an hour. That's how much it costs, but it's a reward in itself. I, get, I, I think I get paid a million dollars. You know, they should pay me a million dollars to do this, but 18 an hour is good. 18 an hour is good. Thank you. That's very nice. Uh, Mr. Uh, Warren, uh, what else would you like to tell sure. viewers before we leave today? Uh, that my name is Michael Renfro. 
Uh, I've got some serious political ideas uh, that will shape the future. Uh, call me, call me, uh, uh, you know, Pete Buttigieg. I can say your name right. Call me. I'm a good guy. You want this guy to call you? I want him to call me. Wow, I got. Are you I got, kind of? Uh, I got. Uh, no, I, I, it's hey, a family show. Hey, we're, we're not. We're that. not we're making solicitations that. here on the show. The important thing to remember is that it's not enough to have a, a, a you know universal health care. You know, doctors should come and live in your home. Yeah. All right. I I, no other candidate Feed bring em. up that idea. And you know, I had to just run. Yeah. I should, should run. I thought you were running. No. No. You I said I, Warren I, I got, running for run. something. Okay, You're telling me, why, why do you point the finger? What's okay, going on there? I don't bit. like when people point the finger at me, huh? Yeah, stop pointing the finger at him. Yeah. Yeah, stop pointing the finger at him. You want me to talk to him? Why don't you let that other guy say something? And yeah. All right. Tell us something. All right. All right. They want you to talk. They want me to talk. Yeah. Say, but let me ask you this. What's your biggest disappointment in life? Myself. Wow. Why? Myself. What about why? being here? What do you mean being here? This is a great show. I'm talking about... Hey, you want to be violent? I got somebody to be violent. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight. What am I doing? I'm talking. Are we almost done with this show? I got to get out of here. I feel trapped in these clothes. <laughs> Mom. No, put it together. Put it together. I got it. I'm professional. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Did you say what you needed to say? Yeah, I don't know if I ever got a chance to say what I was going to say, but uh, like I said uh, before, I, I, uh, um, you know, but people to judge, if you're listening, call me. Not for that. I know you're married. All right. Doesn't make any sense whatsoever, but I think we're about finished because even if we're not finished, I'm finished. I can't take any more of this. I'm ready to run outside, rip my clothes off, and start screaming and running down the street. And this, by the way, is a family show, so I shouldn't be doing that. But I'd like to thank all of my guests today for coming on to the show. Um, Steve Ortiz, no. Um, Chad Pennington, Chad, Chad somebody. Chad was supposed to be here and he didn't make it. Uh, I'm Stevie D, special moments with Stevie D. Just like to tell you that, um, lovely having you, 75 million viewers. Thanks to my guests, Mr. Warren and Mr. Esperanza. Thank you for being here. We'll see you next time on Special Moments with Stevie D here at PCTV. It's Love you all. Michael Renfro. Michael Renfro. Michael Renfro? My, I am Who's Michael. this Michael I, Renfro guy? That you keep talking about. Really?